Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is Millennia in the Making episode 131. We're currently playing as Kaiser Arnholf of the Holy Roman Empire, he's got a very nice hat. He is the grandson of Kaiser Wilhelm III, who himself was the son of Kaiser Wilhelm II. Now it appears that Baron Arnulf here has finally grown up and he has become a charismatic negotiator, so he is very good at diplomacy. That's good. He's still depressed, which is an issue. He's not so good at military or stewardship or spying. So... I'm going to wait for Prince Anselm to get over his illness, because he might not. I don't know. And I'm going to wait for him to age up. He's got three and a bit years for that. And then we may try and murder um, Baron Arnolf here. <sighs> yeah, I know. We might make him a Chancellor and send him off to places. We we're going to try and murder him in that case. Anyway, we have some wars. We're currently involved in a revolt against us in Samanda. We're winning it rather handily. Let's just win it permanently there. We've got a revolt against us in Tuscany, which we're sending a guy to deal with. And, of course, the Caliph has declared the Abbasid War for Farhan's claim on the Sinai Peninsula. And, yeah, we're, we're going to go and beat the utter shit out of the Caliph here. I believe that will reset our truce with him. Maybe. I don't know where our truce with him is. Is it this one? No, that's the Hashemids. Yeah, it may have reset our truce with him. I can't find it. I'm not going to bother with finding it. So, let's get into it. Because if it has, I will be taking the Canaries off him. Wonderful. That is not going to be a win for us yet. Nope, because we need to come up here and take this land. You know... Yeah, right, that's probably the safest way of doing it. This place has such a low supply limit, though, due to uh, Typhus. So, come over this way. There we go. All we need to do is either reoccupy this stuff or beat him up or something. We just need... Uh, we just need a war score source that isn't from occupation... That isn't from us occupying stuff due to how it works. Apparently. Yeah. That's alright. We shall manage... Besides, I actually wanted my army moving up in that direction anyway. Because... Our truce with Rafenia runs out in a year, and our truce with Kiva has ended due to uh, some guy dying, I guess. Which is pretty cool. <clears throat> Don't know how the Chilinid truce is going. Eh, still five years. Wonderful, there's probably somebody better for our Chancellor to go and smooth talk now. Oh, the elective succession faction has gone down considerably. Uh, let's have him go talk to the mayor of Solano, that, that'll do. So, where are you? You're in Amalfi itself, which is here. Beautiful. And I don't think there's actually anywhere better for our spy master to be at the moment, so I'm just going to leave him as is. Bought a faction disbands. That's kind of cool. And a marriage offer between my daughter, Princess Cunegund, and the King of Scot over oh, heir to Scotland. Yes, yes. Why not? That sounds good. These guys are going to take that place. Yep, there they go. That's fine, and now we're going to move into Mainch. Hmm. The Lord. Uh, they're going to be coming back and trying to retake their stuff. So many factions are just disbanding. Did we suddenly get everybody like us? 
like, to like us for some reason? I mean, oh, holy shit. I don't know what happened. Okay, so we get up over 29. He's presumably moving into Kuma. I can't see him. That doesn't matter. He won't be able to take this place back before we take this place back. Assuming we arrive at reasonable, reasonably similar times. Uh, yeah, church infrastructure there. I don't care about church infrastructure, really. we have... Yeah, we already had University 2s there, that's fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna save up my money for a bit. Uh, the Yazidi Heresy appeared in Alakaba. Whatever. Okay, so if this force is going to get to Marrakesh, and I'm going to have them come down and hit up the, you know, Caliph's army. So, like that. Yeah, we should get the intercept on there. We have indeed intercepted them. Yazidi Heresy and Gabi Yaha. I'm really hoping that that isn't... Um, oh, what do you call it? I'm really hoping that that isn't heretic strongholds appearing. No, it's just religious arrest in in uh, Alakaba to begin with. Gilad was already there. Religious unrest is fine, it only lasts a few years. It's the heretic stronghold one which is a real pain in the ass. Alright, so we're definitely getting into Sapa before these guys get into Semenda, so that's good. It means that we'll be able to uh, quickly win, essentially. Let's have a fight! Let's have a fight, Caliph. Wonderful. Yes, yeah, so I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but you really just want to avoid planning out future maneuvers while a battle is going on. Because it ends up fucking over your own shit. <laughs> just a flesh wound. You fucking moron. Just a flesh wound, huh? Is that, is that seriously what you think this is? Just a flesh wound? Because I just won. Welcome to jail. Population U. And, you know, 82 other guys. Just, just saying. So now I don't think we have... No, we do have a civil war because... Tuscany. But in the meantime, I need to check some troop numbers. Kiva! Where the hell is Kiva? Oh, there we are. 15 thou. That's fine. Kiva! Holy War for Alania. Ladia. That place. Let's go! Wonderful, we're going to have enough of a supply limit as well. That's perfect. Okay, 4th of July for these guys, no, 4th of January. Alhasa is converted. You know, it's great that we're converting all of these places, but could we really convert this one up here? That would be amazing if we could do that. Like, seriously amazing. I, I would really enjoy that. Then we could really get rid of the rest of the Sumanesco stuff. It's that. Oh, it's a Zikri heresy. Alright. Or the Zikri zero. Sunni or Shia heresy. Sunni heresy. Alright. <coughs> Fair enough. Oh yeah, we're going to punch straight through this place. Just get as much war score off the guy as we can. Oh, our steward has delivered us 950 gold. Because we have him raising money. And 50 tech points from... Our oh, guys are just being excellent. Okay, military. That went to culture. That's fine. We could always use a bit more culture. We're now almost halfway to getting that final level of legalism.
So we've captured a few individuals here. Let's just see if any of them... Oh, bugger that. I don't care. We did grab uh, this guy. Now, I believe... Yes, he's the heir. So we've won this war. If we so choose to win it. I do not choose to win it at this point in time. I choose to get 110 gold off the Caliph and win it properly. Because by winning it properly, we ruin the garrisons and levies here, which are going to be very important, assuming that his declaration of war has broken our truce. Or, you know, nulled it or whatever. Which is why I'm just sort of slapping through all of these places, all of these um, cities and mosques. Yes, your child of a mangy dog, of course, of course, of course. That's a wonderful guy. How's our stuff going up here? Are our troops almost there? They're getting there, they're getting there. Kinda hoping that they get... Yeah, they should get there before these guys finish their siege. Okay, the Caliph has offered us peace. And it's a surrender offer. I am going to... decline that. We captured another one of the bloke's wives. Looks like we've got his main wife and one of the secondaries. Hmm. Cool, cool. Wonderful. And I just want the last one, the Mosque of Seferau. Seferu? Good, that's going fine. These guys are going to try and move out the third, the fourth. They're going to avoid us, but... Not very well. Count Guy of Leicester is apparently going to transfer co countries or something. I doubt he will. Okay, and there's our complete occupation of that stuff, so we're just going to start the march out. Declare the victory. Now, the victory gets us 150 prestige. We imprison the claimant, and he loses the claim. And we get 432 gold off the Caliph. Done. Now, when our troops move out, I just need to. They're moving out after these guys move in, and we will intercept this army. That's good. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, it looks like a pretty convincing victory to me as well. few factions forming for whatever reason, but whatever man, sort of thing. Okay, so that army will move in and start besieging friends, and everybody will be happy. Now, yes, it does appear that you, uh, fucked up. Now, we have a de jure claim on, Canar on the Canaries. That will... Mm, I'm hoping... That, that gives this guy the entire thing. Yes, he will gain that place. But just to make sure... Yeah, see, here's the issue. Muslim rulers can hold mosques as well as castles. That's fine. It's actually a really cool mechanic because mosques get a lot more troops but a lot less good... like a loss, uh, lot... words, subby. The troops are all like light infantry, heavy infantry, infantry and archers, whereas castles get, you know, pikemen and cavalry and all that sort of stuff. It's a very interesting sort of mechanic. If we take Gran Canaria, that will give it will give us the city of La Palma as a vassal, but it will probably not give us the mosque. So we're actually going to do a holy war and a holy war for Marrakesh, and you know, go from there. So the reason why we reduced all these troops is now we can just move in and just take it. And that may even give us enough war score to avoid having to get boats to go to the Canaries with. And that is a lot of money. 
like a seriously high amount of money. I love it. <clears throat> the only danger is that other Sunni rulers could join in on this, but I'm not too worried about that over here. The only really... Oh, what happened here? Oh, no way. Um, this guy's a heretic. Yeah, the Shah of the Sharazid Shadam is a Zikri. So, that's excellent for us, because he can't get involved in Sunni holy wars. The only person who really can is the Chulunid Sultanate. And they're probably going to have a lot of their own issues. Okay, so we just straight up assault through all of these places. Some of them aren't even worth the, the you know, consideration. And by the end, we're already at 41%, there's still three holdings left to go. Looks like these guys joined in, that's fine. 67... 78%, that's not a winning... That is a winning percentage. And let me just move my troops down this way. Thank you! Yes, you child of a magic dog, etc, etc. Divi those up, and then we give this to the guy who should have it, the Duke of Marrakesh. Congratulations. And now, we're just going to do a du jour claim on Teradot. But not yet. When the truce breaks. Or is over. So I'll just move my guys into anti-Atlas for the moment be fine. Oh yeah, get rid of all of that stuff, get rid of all of this stuff. Yep, factions forming all over the place, nobody really cares about this. They really like their elective succession, don't they? Yeah, that'll go away at some point. How are we doing up here? Attack it. I'd like this to be over so that I can redu reduce the crown authority in Bohemia. Yeah, I honestly don't care about those guys. Okay. Duke Leutpold has attempted the assassination of this fellow for some reason. This guy is a former rebel. Now, <clears throat> If we order the arrest, there's a 70% chance of us arresting Jute Leutpold of Tigris. Now, he doesn't like me, because he wants control of a bunch of counties. It's better to forgive and forget, and let's just give him control of a bunch of his counties that he should have already. Al-Najaf and Al-Naziria, so that's not actually this guy, so... What we have here is an annoying thing. Where we can't give this guy control of the counties that he wants control of. Al Najaf and Al Nasiria, where are those? Here's Al Nasiria. Okay. Because it's because it's a woman, I guess. And Al Najaf. I don't know why we can't give him control. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. We do have an alternate tool that we can use, which is to excommunicate them, you know, imprison them, all that sort of stuff, until we can revoke their titles due to imprisoning them as rebels. At which point we can then just give the land to the guy, but... Fuck it. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna get involved too much in that sort of thing at this period of time. Just check my stuff here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, not too concerned, not too concerned. So you know what, in the four years if that's gonna take us for the Chulinid piece to go away. Let's just check out what our other pieces are like. Six years there. 
six years there. We can't really do anything with Cyprus. Cyprus is going to be annoying. And I don't think we can really do anything with Famagusta. We can actually claim Famagusta because it's a, you know, Catholic province. You know what? This guy. Go to Cyprus and make me a claim. <clears throat> Just for the province. I don't need the duchy. And this should win us our little rebellion here. Is that so? Yep, wonderful. Now this army... This army shall go to... Rathenia. <coughs> yes, yes, that sounds good. So... You like me, you like me, you don't like me, but I do have the chance to imprison you. Done. Now that I worked out that, you know, his shit was retarded. The Duke of Frassia doesn't particularly like me because I destroyed his liege title, and I can imprison him. Sure, why not? Now, I can usurp some titles. The Duchy of Charison, but they're at war. The Sultanate of Arabia. Ooh, very nice, but they're at war with Nubia. They're winning that, that's good. The Kingdom of England, but, well, they're at war. Really? The Kingdom of... Nice. And the Duchy of Bedford. Well, that's important. This was Bedford in here, right? Like London and all that sort of stuff. And the Duchy capital is Essex. Yes, yes, let's let's usurp that. So usurp the Duchy of Bedford, thank you very much, and we'll give it to this guy. Oh, and we can still check how this is going? Yeah, that's fine. You. Grats, bro, you're now the Duke of Bedford. When I scroll past all the kingdom titles for it. Ah, uh, it's actually Essex now. When we took it, we renamed it to Essex. And I was wondering, you know, I, I thought that London and all that was Essex and not, you know, Bedford. Alright. Did the King of England die? Can the King of England die? Nope. Ugh. But it's interesting to know that we can usurp the Kingdom of England, assuming that he is not at war. The problem is that it's going to be very difficult to bring him out of war. We're going to have to run a claim of, on Castile for someone. It's going to be irritating, and we we got to do it in five years' time. Now, we're no longer at civil war. Bohemia, get fucked back down to the high. Pharaoh converted. When does our truce of this guy run out? December. Good. <sighs> Bohemia has approved, approved High Crown Authority. That's wonderful. That's what I wanted them to do. Great. Just get get as many of these sieges done nice and quickly as we can because they're weak and it's good to take stuff while they're weak. Just saying. Alright, just move on over to that one. Takes us a while to get there, almost a month, but you know. It's manageable. And we'll build, we've got plenty of money so let's build something expensive, the keep. Right. The Duke of Tuscany is complaining about his cell, so let's chuck him into your blurt. Uh, this guy is claiming that this guy is a rotten egg, but we like this guy a lot more than this guy, so let's mm, tip off the victim. And we can do that because of our comparatively high intrigue skill. <coughs> it's eight points. It counts that as being high. I'm fine with that. You know, it's, it's all right.
you know, there's so many duchies and kingdoms that we can still create that we're just not going to bother with at the moment. Uh, this one's complaining. Um, letter rot. The factions forming. You know, just kind of business as usual in the uh, state of the Holy Roman Empire. Why do we have a big thing up there? Right, because that's um, the Merchant League of Ahansa doing their thing. Getting some territory, doing their thing. Yeah, it's all good. At least I've got some competition up there with Skane and for some reason Ascalon. Just doesn't make any sense to me. Frace is getting a bit of stuff up. This is good, this is good. I like this. Tangier's looking pretty powerful over here. Nah, it's, it's, it's good for us. Yep, whatever you're doing, boys. Okay, we do have attrition here. Not too much. We're only 788 men over. But we are going to do the whole attacking thing and all that sort of stuff. You know, we've got enough money to build, like, more holdings. Let's see if there's anything that we should be doing. Yeah, I think we only had one place of a spare slot, and it was up here, so let's give them a castle. Because they've got two cities, one bishopric. So yeah, castle. Good on them. Hmm. Nice. Now where else will we go into? When we get our point of legalism, I think we might be taking Kempton. It's either that or oh yeah, that's actually a good point. In in Europa, there's a big issue with how provinces in this area work, and we may need to take Innsbruck. But that's going to be irritating because the Duke of Tyrrell's been a pretty good bro, so we might just take Kempton at some point in the future. We'll be fine. That's when our demand limit goes up, of course. Our laws here are absolutely fine. Yeah. Now it takes us about 40,000 retinue points to get a new army of the size that we want. So currently we're at 18,000 spare, so we'll see how we go with our things. With our conquests anyway. But keep in mind that we are going to be releasing a lot of the land that we're now currently taking. Particularly Elenia here, we're actually planning planning on releasing the Kingdom of Elenia basically almost as soon as we get it to a, a nice German Catholic fellow. Maybe this guy, I don't know. We'll see. Great. Patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My son Anselm never loses his temper, always waiting patiently for a chance to retaliate. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Look at his stat line. He doesn't have a single negative trait. Married somebody kind of shitty. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> Alright. How long do we have? Two and a half years. We'll try doing it the normal way. But we're going to be very careful about this. We're going to get the Pope involved. <laughs> Apparently the Pope will join our plot. Uh, let's see. Well, 
Where the hell are we getting a lot of the plot power from? Alright, we're not even going to be careful. Fuck it, just invite everybody. <sighs> I don't look at this lightly, because if we're found, we get Kinslayer. And yes, the Pope likes us enough, so maybe he'll let us get out of it, but it's, it's not great, is it? And we also have enough money that we could potentially get out of it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get all these damn messages because I didn't t keep the box ticked. So yeah, we've definitely got the plot power that we need, but this is dangerous for us. Because Kinslayer is just fucking terrible. Okay, great. It's 143. Uh, I don't really think that there's anybody else who matters that we can pull in. Not for cheap, anyway. It's like, yes, I'd like to uh, stage the murder of my grandson, but I'd like to do it on the cheap. Let's go back and try and beat up this army. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get there before they leave, but, well, fuck it. Just see how it goes. Got a few months left on that truce in Northern Africa. And a uh, few days left on the truce in Rafenia. Wonderful. Yeah, they're gonna move out. That's alright. I'll complete that move and see if I can chase them into Saba. Like so. Because they don't appear to be moving immediately from Saba. Yeah, now the real problem here is if a bunch of drunkards decide to, you know... There's... I don't think there's a way of telling whether people are going to blab about the plot. It's just a goddamn percentage bullshit thing. It's annoying. And there we go, we've got contact. Does not go well for the Keevans. Only 8% war score, but we wiped them out. That particular army of them. They've got to have another army somewhere. I kind of hope that they do, because if that's all that they can ever do, then... They do not stand a chance against the Mongols, no matter how nerfed the Mongols may, may or may not have been. such a terrible assassinate chance too. Another thing we could try and do with this, if this really doesn't work, is do the whole revoke title thing and maybe try and send him off to a bishopric or something like that, try and disqualify him from succession, but I'm honestly not sure how that works. So it's not something I want to try just randomly. Rot, it's fine. The succession law in Bohemia was Agnetic Primo, wasn't it? Yep, Agnetic Primo, wonderful. And of all of our little laws here seem to be fine. Yep, all being counted out. The proper ones for the feudal lords is there, it's all good. Perfect. Ah, and there's one for that other. Yeah, so the truce thing, <clears throat> we didn't get it pop up and make a noise, even though the Ruthenian one expired and this new one came in, because this one new, new one came in before the Ruthenian truce expired. But, you know what, that's fine. And uh, War on Ruthenia will be for Smolensk up there, that one province that we're missing. So let's get our guys up there like that. Hmm. 
My daughter here is of age. She has become a mastermind theologian, as expected. Good work. Good work. And she's good at nothing else, so, you know. Maybe she should have been the one who became the nun, right? I think Inge became the nun? Yes. Hmm. Excellent, we're at 83% wall score. We're going to easily bruise this one through to 100. 95. Still thinks he's, uh, you know, doing alright. Well, he's losing, but he won't give up. So this should be what we need. There we are, 100%. Done. A little bit of lag there as it all flicked around. But hey, that's cool. So now this army should come down to here. Ish. Yep, and let's distribute some land. After we get rid of all these messages. So, a bunch of bishoprics, a city, yeah, nothing special. This one at least had a barony in it. Two baronies. Good. Now, we want to pick somebody good here because we are picking a king. Oh, in this place here, apparently. Thank you. Yes, we're picking a man to be King of Alania. So let's take the duchy, we usurp it off whoever was holding it, and we create the Kingdom of Alania. And that should have good laws. There it is. Yep. Uh, primo, high, free. We could change the laws up a little bit. <coughs> Just to mess with people, I guess, but we're not going to do that. Um, Hmm. No, that, that's all good, that's all good. We want Elenia to be strong. Now, let's have a look at these guys. Psychard, you're kind of not great. Wolfram! Hmm. Meinhard. Hey, yeah, you're a bit better, but your stewardship's bad, which is not good. Obviously, it's bad. Uh, pretty sure that was just Meinhard that we looked at there. And one guy in Yamki. Werner! <sighs> yeah, not really. So let's have a look at the other Alanians. Specifically the Duke of Azov here. Who is depressed? He is not good. He's kinda shit. So, let's look for a male Catholic German, who is an adult, who is not a member of a great house, not in prison, not a ruler, not married. <sighs> Matthias the Steward of Chur. My friend, First of all, how would you like to marry my daughter? Now, we take a lot of negative prestige there, so we're not going to do that immediately. We're going to grant this guy a lander title of the Kingdom of Alania and everything under it. Done. Now we are going to arrange a marriage between him and my daughter, and he is going to accept. We're not going to make it matrilineal, because that's not the purpose here. And now, instead of losing 400, we gain 5, or 6. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> so we wait for that to happen. Kuma has converted to the Catholic faith. It would not be in his best interests. Well, why is that? Because he has just married someone, you piece of shit. Well, we can't have her killed. Ah, bugger it. Let's give him his independence. Asshole. 
There it is. Grand independence. Done. So now Alania is its own realm. Perfect. And he has no allies, so if somebody attacks him, well, you know, if we don't notice somebody attacking him, tough luck for him, basically. Alright, let's get this move on. Now, this is a du jour claim. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. I have inherited the Barony of Wadging. I do not want the Barony of Wadging. It is within our realm, though, so let's just distribute it like so. Nice and easy. So now we've got a new guy here, Hartman. He's kind of cool. Okay, so by taking that, that has reduced our, uh, you know, retinue cap down a bit more. I don't believe we're going to get the extra 20,000 we need, unless we take all of Africa before we start releasing stuff. But, you know, whatever. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't, obviously. 75% war score just from cleaning up that little army there. And as soon as we get an attack in, that will probably be a win. It certainly is. Done. And now we keep our forces moving down, and we are going to have to split them up a bit. Unless the war deck gives us more supply limits. It can do that. It's a little odd. But now, we're not actually at war with anybody. Can we do anything? No. That's a bit far out for that stuff. Wasn't there a few single provinces up here? In Leon. I think we asked them all to join in and they all joined us because they were smart and not fools. Still three years for Aquitaine, still God knows how long for England. Oh, still no time for England, so that's a good start. Now we could make our personal claim on York, we could have our de jour claim on York, or we could do something for somebody else. Powies over here. We're not going... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. Because there's a new King of England, he's no longer at war for goddamn Castile. So, uh, now there's really a new King of England. And, of course, let me find England. This is going to be somewhat irritating. What does England actually... What does their coat of arms actually look like? Right, it's the uh, Lion Rampart thing. Oh, let's see if I can see it through all of this system here. No, that's Aquitaine. This. There, the Kingdom of England. Okay. We are going to vote for our heir. Of course. Oh, and unfortunately we now have a King of Castile. That's irritating. I didn't notice that we had that. So we'll deal with that. Oh, where's my guy? Where's my guy? It's McGanselm, the current nominated heir. So if we can get... Wonderful. Oh, yeah, and let's just see if these guys will just join us because reasons. Have some money. Be vassalized. Northumberland. <coughs> Excuse me. Have some money. Be vassalized. Erethid. Have some money. Be vassalized. And Lancaster. Oh, Lancaster will not, because we usurped his title. But that's alright, because then we'll just go to war with Lancaster. Okay, so what we're trying to do in England here is rather obviously shift to High Crown Authority, so we can then shift to Primogeniture.
We only need about another 20, 25 votes. Let's spin that now. Good man. Good man. So now Lancaster is the only one left. And Lancaster actually holds more, like, duchy than he should. This is the duchy of Lancaster here. He also holds Northumberland itself. And both Gwynedd and Perfect will in the Welsh name. Anyway, this is exceptional for us because that's basically let us take well, the vast majority of England, hasn't it? Alright, come on in bro. No, you still won't come in? Alright, fuck you then! Come on, approve the damn law. Approve it! We only need four, three more votes. Three more votes. It's like one guy. There we go. And now we immediately jump to Primo. Everything's good. And uh, now we have a little war with this guy for his land. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do it for this guy to get his opinion back a bit. Head on up there. Now we have a King of Castile. That's annoying to me. It's actually very, very annoying to me. So, let's get him excommunicated. And we don't have an army nearby, but whatever. Any moment. Thank you, Pope. In prison. He has raised his flag in rebellion. That is such a shame for him. And we've lost our spy master, so we just need to hire somebody else. We are obviously not going to hire the Grand Mayor of Solano because he despises us for reasons. Uh, this guy will do. Let's give him a tad bit of, like a little bit of money. Nope. No, nope, we can't increase his opinion further, so let's give him. Nope, he's already the honorary title in some way. Ah, oh, bugger it. He's fine. And we'll just send him overseas. there's not really many places that we can send people one because there aren't all that many places that are overseas and two because there aren't all that many places that have tech over us so we'll send him to Tobruk because that's where the last guy was mm -hmm. uh, we had improved keeps in Osterreich just pop up so let's just buy that Oh, a little annoyed with what just happened with Castile. Like in that we suddenly had another vassal king just arrive. 41% mm -hmm, of that elective succession thing. 30% in uh, independence. This guy is fabricating a claim on the Duchy of East Anglica. Anglia? That's alright. He's only a count. How's the murder plot going? Okay, so if this fired now and we were discovered, this may be a significant issue for us. But I'm going to keep it going because YOLO. Just saying. we have a Sultan of Arabia yet? No, this guy's still at war. It's a defensive war, but he's only sort of half and halfing. Alright, well, good on him. That's fine, he can he can do that. 82, these ones were later than that, I know that for sure. What about the Sharazids? 86. So yeah, this army can just kind of hang out there, I guess. The Battle of Newcastle was a success, so we'll just besiege this place in a moment. 
<coughs> Excuse me. What's this? Title loss and succession for Kingdom of Asturias. Why is that? Because the Kingdom of Asturias is a elective. You must be joking. Alright, no, fair enough, fair enough. That's alright. <sighs> Hang on. Why is it saying that I can't destroy it because the succession type is not gavel kind when we're elective? Fucking game. Oh, we can now usurp this duchy from this guy and give it to uh, one of our guys, should we so wish, and we do. Thank you, and give it to this one. Grats, bro, you're a duke. Done. Factions! You are supposed to have vassal kings, but the game makes it really difficult for you to actually do that. And you're supposed to have them because it's easier to manage, like... Let's... well, let's look up here in, in this thing. We have 32 kingdoms. We would reasonably hold, like, maybe four of those being the emperor. It's easier to manage 28 kings than it is to manage 180 duchies. But kings also get just a penalty for being kings, and it's really fucking annoying. I mean, come on, Paradox, if you want us to use vassal kings, remove the penalty. You know, there's, there's no reason to uh, not just deal with your dukes. Like, there's no incentive. Apart from, you know, alleged ease, which isn't actually a thing because it's not easier to manage kings because they have a penalty. Yeah, cool, cool. Stuff's happening in my vassal republics. There we go, and now we're just going to march on down here and beat up that army, and hopefully that gets us this battle. Well, war. We are coming up to that end of the episode, Marco, though. It's been kind of eventful. We've basically gotten rid of England. And all of England at that. So we may actually be releasing England fairly shortly. Impuris is Catholic. Alakaba is Catholic. Uh, we're still waiting on Samoyedia. Samoyedia. This place to become Catholic, but they're not doing it for reasons. This guy wants the Duchy of Finland to have a new ruler, that's alright. <coughs> but you know what? We're going to imprison him, and we're going to release him for the 15 opinion with everybody else, because he had tuberculosis, so I assume he's going to die soon, so his opinion malice against me isn't all that important to me. Come on, guys, move. I do have the game unpaused. Okay, these guys have managed to move around quite swiftly, actually. There must be very low movement times between uh, Chester, Lancaster, and Cumberland. We will not manage the intercept, but I'm going to let them finish their move because I believe we have a very swift move from Durham. Durham. Durham is how it's said, to Northumberland. And there we go, 10 days. 
Duke Folkhard's justice has brought peace to a troubled province. So we praise him and the province gets like a minus revolution risk, which is fine. He's going to try and move into Dunbar? Really? Into Scottish lands? Alright, buddy. Let me know how that works out for you. Now, in Europa, he wouldn't have been able to do that because you can't move into another person's land without a treaty or something. There we go. Let's end this war, or hopefully if this battle ends the war, let's do that. And then we'll be able to end the episode. Forty-eight percent, that's pretty good. Is it a war ending value? Nope. So chase him back down into Northumberland. Twenty-two percent, how about that, buddy? Yep, there we go. Twelve days for that, and I'll just move our guys down to Powies. Yeah, sure. Although, actually... Yeah, we're moving down to power east, that's fine. We have a peasant revolt. Somewhere. Oh, down here. Yeah, it's in a really irritating position. Oh, kind of. We'll deal with Castile, then we'll go deal with them. We are getting really overextended on a bunch of fronts, so, you know, it'd be good to get rid of that sort of thing. Okay, wonderful. That's uh, that war done, so let's call an end of the episode there. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will get to them as soon as possible. If you liked the video, give it a like, and if you would enjoy seeing more, please subscribe. In the meantime, though, I have been Sub, you have been yourselves, later.